I told you there is a brand new beverage out there that actually can increase the power of your muscles by about 10 to 13 percent literally within about two hours after drinking it. What? It's like a line of athletes out the door waiting to buy this miraculous beverage. Well, this beverage really is not so miraculous. You know what it is? It's actually beet juice. Now, let's proceed into the study itself. This stuff is pretty phenomenal. Keep in mind, this study was a small study. It was done in heart failure patients, but nevertheless, pretty, pretty amazing results. In the study titled, Beet Juice Boosts Muscle Power in Heart Patients. Citation title, Acute Dietary Nitrate Intake Improves Muscle Contractile Function in Patients with Heart Failure. Keep in mind, these are naturally occurring nitrates, so nitrites, not synthetically derived, which can be kind of harmful. Naturally occurring from food. And to move forward, Building on a growing body of work that suggests dietary nitrate improves muscle performance in many elite athletes. Research at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis found that drinking concentrated beet juice, now I'll give you that concentration a little bit later on, so help you determine what you may want to do yourself. Also high in nitrates, increased muscle power in patients with heart failure. It is a small study, but we see robust changes in muscle power about two hours after patients that drink the beet juice, two hours. And we're not just taking over time to begin to develop this muscle, uh, extra muscle power. We're talking, oh, I'm gonna drink some beet juice, boom, one drink, two hours later, increased power. Now you may say, oh, there must be some sort of psychological premise that before you move forward, keep in mind. You had a double blind crossover placebo studies with a two week washout period between that, meaning for two weeks it took nothing. Meaning one group took beet juice with nitrates in it, naturally occurring. The other group took beet juice without it. So it tasted the same, looked the same to both the researchers and to the patients, yet had phenomenal results. Such as, the reason they did the power was this, getting out of a chair, lifting groceries, climbing stairs, all of a major impact in the quality of life. We wanted to help make people more powerful because power is such an important predictor of how well people do whether they have heart failure, cancer, or other conditions. And generally, general, generally, physically, more powerful people live longer. Meaning, just getting up out of a chair, getting out of bed, uh, carrying groceries, moving upstairs. These are all vital functions to every individual out there. And finding a way to increase power healthfully in these individuals with medical conditions was the goal of the researchers and they found the way and it's quite incredible. But let's move forward. In the September issue of the journal Circulation, Heart Failure, the scientists reported data from nine patients with heart failure. Two hours after the treatment, which fancy word for two hours after drinking the beet juice, patients demonstrated a 13% increase in power in muscles that extend the knee. That's 13% increase in power just after one drink of a concentrated beet juice. The researchers observed the most substantial benefit when the muscles moved at high velocities. Push, pull, lift, get up, things along those lines. This increase or the increase in muscle performance was significant in quick power-based actions, but researchers didn't see any improvement on muscle fatigue. Now keep in mind this is in the heart failure uh, patients right now. Even though some good studies in athletes would show it did increase endurance, at least for heart failure patients, it didn't show it as far as increase in endurance. Strength, power, yes. Endurance, not so much. Now keep in mind, this part's also important too because a lot of doctors are concerned, beet juice contains nitrates, may drop blood pressure too low, can it interfere with certain elements of the medical condition, so to say. This is what the researcher said, and this is important. The researchers pointed out that participants experienced no major side effects from the beet juice, including no increase in heart rates or drops in blood pressure, which as they point out, is important to, with patients with heart failure, in patients with heart failure. Now, let's look at the chart. You're gonna figure out, well, 11.2 millimoles of uh, beet juice, but they didn't say the amount of ounces of beet juice per se. So how do you figure out 11.2 millimoles of nitrate? Uh, this is what to look at. And now keep in mind, this chart will at least give you a, a basic understanding this is obviously in the whole vegetable itself prior to being juiced. So this can be a rough estimate. So if you look at it, you say, yeah, oh look, arugula. Wow, look at the nitrate content. Spinach, lettuce, radish. Why isn't the study got done in that? 
I don't know. But the study's done on beets, so we're sticking with beets. 1.88 uh, mil, uh, millimoles of nitrates per 80 grams. So you work that out very rough though, depending on the circumstance, about 16 to 17 ounces as rough estimate in the equivalent of nitrates to what the heart failure patients drunk in the study. Again, important to improve the quality of life. Very simple, very basic, just a really, really good healthy drink can make a huge difference, at least in beet juice, so to say. Again, I really do hope this helps. Thank you very, very much for listening once again, and thank you.